right, we've got a brand new scent release here from the Luxurious Bastard. It's called the Jolly Old Bastard. Uh, a wonderful holiday scent I'll tell you all about in just a second. I got another little something here that I'm not sure how much information I'm supposed to give you, so I better check with uh, Dave before I uh, release this video. But if you, can you read that? It's called the Black Friday Bastard. That can be uh, yours if you check out my live stream event this coming Sunday, uh, the 20th at 7 p.m. Eastern. You're going to have a chance to get that oil for free. So let me tell you all about it in just a second. So welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. We're trying to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And last month, uh, the Luxurious Bastard had a big hit with a new profile called the October Bastard. Uh, all three of us on that uh, live stream really enjoyed that particular one. Uh, also, there is the Autumn Bastard, and then there's the Harvest Bastard that's still out. Uh, those you can actually get for a, a clearance price right now. So I'll show you all of that stuff in just a second. And then we've got the new releases. So oils uh, and balms and butters uh, usually go for $19.50. Uh, but you can right now pick up the October Bastard or the Harvest Bastard or the Autumn Bastard for, I think it's like $14.99. And though that's while supplies last, so they may not last long. And uh, just to let you guys know, I am an affiliate. Uh, I think this is my first announcement about that. So I am an affiliate for the Luxurious Bastards. You can use the code uh, BANJO10 to save an extra 10%. A few of you have already used it and I haven't, I haven't even advertised it. So I appreciate it when you guys do that. But let me tell you the profiles on these really quickly. I, I had the Harvest Bastard, but it's been years ago since I've tried it. Uh, I like that one okay. To me, that one was reminiscent of kind of an autumn candle, a fall candle, if you will. But the Autumn Bastard is dark and light patchouli, blue spruce, basil, clove, Australian sandalwood, fig, cranberry, magnolia leaf, amber, and oud. And can we say that uh, Mr. Lux is the king of complex scents? The complexity is there. Um, and that was the, the Autumn Bastard is the one I was reading out. So that one to me is one that if you don't like the sweet scents, you don't like kind of typical uh, holiday scents or fall scents, this is a little bit different because it is a whole lot uh, less sweet. There's almost no sweetness to it. It's kind of like peppery, uh, that kind of idea. So if you're wanting something a little bit different, you can check out the Autumn Bastard. I preferred uh, the uh, October Bastard. And that was pumpkin, clove, bud, allspice, cinnamon leaf, sandalwood, buttercream, vanilla bean, patchouli, dark amber, oud, and musk. And this was a pretty rich scent. Uh, I really enjoy it, but it's not one I want to wear every day because of the the kind of the rich and sweetness to it, the buttercream and some of the vanilla, uh, some of that stuff in it. But it is a really good uh, fall scent if you're wanting to try pumpkin, uh, kind of something, something there. That's a good one to try. Like I said, you can get those for $14.99 now while supplies last. I saw oil for some and like oils and balms for some other ones so what's left is is what you get so that may or may not last until the big live stream event sunday so i want to go and let you guys know that now right now as i'm looking at the website the jolly old bastard has sold out of the first run of these uh but i heard uh and it says on the website he's going to be making more and i can see why this i think is going to be my new top like holiday scent. Uh, so this one is juniper, cedar, sweet must, coffee, mountain air, balsam fir, apple, lime, cranberry, cinnamon, warm vanilla, raspberry, pomegranate, and oud. <sighs> Take a deep breath after that. That's a ton of stuff. I'll tell you what is not. It is not a coffee scent because you're some of you are like, I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee scents either. Um, uh, Mr. Lux is the first person I have found that can actually use coffee as a supporting scent and it not be dominant. Uh, it can be one where you might smell a little bit or just kind of gives it that little extra depth. And then you warm it up, putting your beard and it's gone. Uh, it just kind of adds to what you've got going on and not become the main feature. So it's not a coffee scent. To me, it does not smell like apples and limes and some of that other. It's not overly fruity. Uh, man, it's hard to explain this one. So you basically get, uh, if I were to try to explain it to you, it's kind of like cranberry woods and like wintry spices if you will. That's kind of what I get from it. So the, all of that fruit there with the cranberry, pomegranate, raspberry, all that stuff definitely gives you that holiday, uh, holiday type of scent. And then your juniper and your cedar and the mountain air and the balsam fir it does not smell like a Christmas tree either. So a lot of those holiday Christmas scents are like blasting you with Christmas tree with the fir. This is not it either. So it's, it's pretty much cranberry um, and then fruit, some of the other fruit. Uh, mixed with some uh, woods and some winter spice. 
really good blend. Uh, both uh, this one and then also the Black Friday scent to me are more everyday wares. So this one's not as strong as some of Lux's scents. So if you're like, I don't like Lux's stuff's too strong, uh, I get it because uh, some of the scents I'm like that. I'm, I'm like that too. It's like, okay, it's too complex. There's too much going on. It's too strong. Uh, that kind of thing. That is not the case at all with the hol uh, the Jolly Old Bastard. That one's a perfect medium scent. Uh, I do not get tired of it. I can wear that one every day. And then, uh, as we said, we've got the little secret here, the Black Friday scent, uh, which you guys can get for free. I'm not going to tell you all the details of how to get the deal. We'll save that for uh, Sunday night at 7 p.m. Come back here, tell you how you can get this for free. It's part of the luxurious bastard deal that they're going to have going on. Uh, I am going to read the profile to you, though, so I'm going to have to mind my P's and Q's and not release this thing too early if I'm not allowed. But the profile on this one is really good. Um, it is smoked hickory, apricot, cracked oak, fresh suede, and light musk. So it's not it's not a holiday scent at all. Really, really good. Once again, this is another one that's medium. For me, can be an everyday wear. Uh, does not last forever and ever and, and, and is not way too strong for me. So uh, that, I'm really digging that, the fact that these two especially are ones that I could wear every day and not get tired of it. So if you like anything else that's like apricot with a little bit of woods, a little bit of musk, uh, just a little bit of sweetness in it that I like. I like stuff that's just got a hint of sweetness to it. That's what the apricot uh, does to this uh, to go along with the hickory oak suede light musk, which is more like the cologne inspired, not super woodsy, just a little bit of like a, a hardwood scent mixed with the apricot mixed with a musk is what you get from that Black Friday scent. And somehow uh, I think it's going to get such good feedback that uh, Dave is going to have to figure out how to keep this one going to make a reappearance somehow. Uh, we can't wait till next year for Black Friday for this to come back, I don't think. Uh, I may be wrong, but I think there's going to be overwhelming demand for those that to get that. So anyway, check out all those scents, the brand new ones, the Black Friday one, the Jolly Old Bastard. Definitely get your hands on those if you can. Uh, if you missed out on the, the ones from the fall lineup, uh, you can go back and check out the October Bastard, Harvest Bastard, uh, Autumn Bastard, while su supplies last for a little bit of a, a cheaper price. Let me know if you've tried any of those or if any of those sound good to you. And as always, appreciate you guys watching. We'll be seeing you soon, hopefully for that live stream on Sunday.